Hello friends, I hope you guys are doing amazing, having a great day. I'm in a really great mood today and I thought today would be a perfect, I just said today 18 times. So I thought that it would be a perfect opportunity to take this moment to share with you guys some new Amazon favorites. As many of you guys know, I have done multiple of these videos in the past. I'll make sure to link a couple in cards up above in case you wanna take a look at some of my other Amazon favorites videos. However, I normally do one of these videos every couple of months once I've accumulated some of my favorite products over the course of a couple of months and I have them here to share with you guys. Today we have a really fun mix of stuff. You guys all know how these videos work. Of course, everything that I do feature in today's video will be linked in the description box below for you guys, but the first link in the description box is going to be my Amazon storefront, and this is in every single one of my videos, so if you ever see this link, basically I now have a storefront with Amazon, which allows me to share with you guys my favorites and kind of curate them into collections and lists. So if you head over to my Amazon storefront and you click on the fall 2020 favorites, that's going to be everything from this video, but I also have them individually linked below in case you just want to find the item in your set on that one piece, but I highly suggest checking out my storefront because I have tons of different collections of my favorite knobs, hardware, paints, DIY tools, DIY supplies, whatever it might be. It's all curated into my shop page over on Amazon. Okay, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to grab my first item here. This is actually a set of three, so you get all three of these in one listing. Now, my friend Lewis, who lives with James, um, he bought a couple of decor pieces for his room, and he actually picked up these from Amazon, and I was like, oh my god, those are such incredible quality. Do you guys see this? Not only the little planter at the bottom, but also the faux plant looks so realistic. And there's three different styles. And for the price point, I couldn't beat it. So I had to pick one up for myself because as many of you guys know, I am decorating multiple places throughout my home. And I figured these would be perfect to place around. I'm a huge fan of the look of concrete. However, I don't like how cool toned some of it could be. So I love how this is like a warm toned concrete vessel. So I just really like these. Um, there's not much more to say about them other than they are faux plants. And you guys always, always ask me where my faux plants are from. I have one real one right here, Miss Bird of Paradise. She's doing quite well. However, her friends will always be doing well. So let's jump into something nice and cozy because as many of you guys know, I'm working on my living room makeover right now. So some of these items you're actually going to be able to see throughout that video. This right here is a really, really pretty and affordable throw blanket. I love how it has this knitted texture on the front of it, kind of like a diamond pattern, but they're like fluffy. And then it also has really pretty tassels on the end. This looks like something you would find at West Elm or CB2 for like 70 bucks. And I just really like it. I'm excited to style it on my sofa. It's a really pretty, neutral oatmeal color. Um, not too warm, not too cool, not too yellow, not too gray, all around. Just a really nice blanket and it has a great weight to it as well. So I highly suggest this if you're in the market for a new throw blanket. Now these right here are a little bit random. I'm doing this totally out of order by the way, you guys, but I am working on a really exciting room makeover, which is going to come out probably sometime in October. And I needed some shelf brackets for a wood plank that I'm kind of converting into a wall shelf. And I found these on Amazon and I had to share them in this video. I just could not wait until October. Kind of art deco, a little bit retro, but also it definitely can vibe with boho or even like industrial, I feel like if you were to paint these black. I think this is a great way to definitely add a little bit of statement to your wall shelf. So if it's like maybe above your bed or it's above like a dresser or it's above a console, whatever it might be, I think these are really cute to kind of just add a little bit of additional detail to that wall space. This item right here might be my favorite thing in the entire video. And you guys are probably like, what is that? This is a tabletop vacuum. Now this, my roommate actually found, she came across it. She sent me the link through text and was like, I think you need this. And I was like, I think I do. So I ended up ordering it. And you guys, this is amazing. As many of you guys know, I film multiple DIY projects throughout the week. So I'm always creating messes, whether it be on my dining table, my breakfast nook table, or my filming table. So there's always just like little scraps of things here and there. And this right here cleans your table off so nicely. You don't have to get out your vacuum. You don't have to like kind of push it all into your hand. Take this, turn it on go over the top of your surface like just like this and it picks up everything and all you have to do to empty it is just pull off the top and you just bring this over to your trash can kind of dump it in there you can see all the residue that you were able to pick up off of the table perfect if you have a work from home space or if you are a DIYer like myself this is great to just clean up any extra bits and bobs that are left behind on your surface next up I have a couple more decor items um, for the same exact bedroom that I'm working on in October that has the little shelf bracket I also wanted to introduce a bit more gold into the space so I picked up two other elements that I'm going to show 
share with you guys too. This first one here is a really affordable, like vintage style brass mirror. And this is just so, so pretty. I'm trying not to share the reflection of everything throughout the space, but this is what it looks like. This is super affordable. And the way that they had styled it actually was as a tray. So I thought this would be perfect as a little tray in the room on top of the dresser to set some lotions, perfumes, whatever it might be right on top here. It is made of like a resin, I believe. So it's pretty heavy duty, I'm not gonna lie. And the mirror's really great quality as well. All around for the price, uh, you really couldn't beat this. And then of course, a little bit more gold. This is a little bit more of like a vintage E gold, but look at that, you guys. I've always wanted one of these little hand figurine decor elements. My friend Nastasia, she has a larger one that's like this, and it was a couple hundred dollars. I remember her telling me it was quite expensive. So I actually went on Amazon to see if I could find a similar one for the space, and I ended up finding this resin option, which was a fraction of the price, but it still does its duty. Like, it's just a really cute little hand symbol. They have multiple different styles with like thumbs up. They have the peace sign one, and I think they have a couple other ones as well. And something else I noticed after I got this into my apartment was that it actually has the option to be hung up and used as a wall hook, which I thought that was so cool as well. So you can easily hang this up on the back here um, and use it as a wall hook to like either hang some coats or hats on, whatever you want to use it as. And then we have another shelf decor piece. However, I bought this one for myself specifically because as many of you guys know, I have a little like office nook corner directly in front of me in my bedroom. If you've seen my empty apartment tour, it's like a little cutout in the wall that I'm going to be turning into an office space, but I don't want it to read office space. So I got this little shelf here, which I'm going to be putting in there. And I thought this would just add such a cute little fun element over there. I didn't want it to be anything super serious because it is in my bedroom as well. So I wanted it to be a bit playful. So I ended up picking up this moon shaped shelf here. And I feel like I've seen these on Urban Outfitters in the past, probably for quite a pricey amount. And I found this one on Amazon and I just loved the shape of it. I loved how there was two shelves in here. And I also absolutely love the stain color. It is such a pretty kind of rich, dark chocolate brown color. And I'm just excited to hang this up. It's exactly what I wanted and it will fit perfectly by the window inside of the little office nook. And all around, it's just a really cute um, play on a shelf. So instead of your traditional wall shelf, Think about adding a little shaped option like this moon. Some of you guys might remember in the past when I shared my amber glass bathroom soap dispensers and I have those in all of my bathrooms. I also have them in my kitchen as well. I really, really love them. I love the look of amber glass, but I also came across these, which are amber glass spray bottles for your cleaners. So instead of having to keep your cleaners in their traditional bottles, you can pour them into these really pretty amber glass bottles and you get a pack of four of these. They also come with labels as well, which I thought was really cute. I just went ahead and wrote glass on the front of this label, but they're little chocolate board labels so you can change them in and out and it comes in the pack which I thought was amazing and then all around I just feel like this is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing it really doesn't serve a humongous purpose however you can also mix up your very own cleaners and reuse them in here um, which I thought was a great option and yeah I mean I'm just one that loves aesthetic everything so when I found these bottles I thought they were a really cute addition um, to my kitchen and this is like a bottle you wouldn't even mind leaving out on the countertop for easy access because it just blends in with the rest of your decor all right guys I have some other technological items in here that you are going to need in your life. This first one is called Key Catch, and I came across this on Amazon as well. I was like, what is this? I need this. This is incredible because I am one that misplaces my keys all the time. Even if I have a designated bowl on my desk for my keys, the keys end up not in the bowl. Like, I don't know if you guys are like me, but they're just never in the bowl. So I came across this and I was like, this is such a cool idea. These are magnetic key hangers that actually fit onto the screw of your light socket plate. You get a pack of three of these in here and it also gives you the key ring as well to put on your key set. And all you have to do is just undo the light switch cover, the little screw on the very bottom. You're gonna remove that screw and then just screw in the screw that they give you that has the magnet on it. And then next time when you're leaving or you're coming in the door, all you have to do is grab your keys off of that magnet on the light switch and then put them back on, which is literally incredible for me because I'm always needing my keys to either open my door or unlock my door. So there's no reason for me to not just put it on the light switch because I'm also gonna need to turn on the light and turn off the light. And this right here is another tech item that I recently found out about, but a lot of people have known about. These are smart plugs. So if you've never heard of smart plugs, I actually have them kind of throughout my house already. This is a brand new pack that I purchased to share with you guys so you can kind of see how it comes. Let me open it up for you. So inside, 
side, you can see that you have your four plugs right here. And really all you have to do is just download the app that correlates with your smart plug, which of course is going to tell you which app to download in the instructions. You're going to set up and sync your smart plug with your application on your phone. And then you're able to turn on and off whatever it might be that's connected to the smart plug with the click of your phone, which I think is so, so nice. So let's just go ahead and say that on each of your nightstands, you had a lamp and you like to turn those on, but you have to walk around your bed. You have to turn on each of them manually. The great thing is, is you can simply plug the lamp into one of these and then just plug it into your wall, of course. Use your phone to click it on and it will turn on both lamps at the same time, which I think is so nice. And then you also don't have to get up out of bed to turn the lights off because you can click your phone button and turn them off. Next up, I have a set of four coasters here. Now I get so many questions on where my geode coasters are from. Mine are from Anthropology. I got them, but I found this pack on Amazon and I was like, these kind of look a little bit similar and I got them in and they definitely do. So I figured I'd share these with you guys. I specifically actually bought them for this video. However, I'll probably be putting these in my dining room gift in high like school, that. but they are agate coasters, a set of four. And I believe these were under $30 or under $40, but they're all so, so pretty. I love the way that they look. This one's actually my favorite right here. I love the little ambery colors in there. And then I have a hardware for you guys as well. I feel like I always have some form of hardware, but you might've seen me install these on my Ikea cane storage console that I created. And I had to share them here as well because these have just been amazing. I really, really, really like these as a play on a traditional pull handle because most of the times you guys know that you have to drill into the front of your drawer and then you're gonna add your traditional handle. However, this actually slips over the top of the drawer and then it sticks out of the top and you're able to pull the drawer open like this. And I'll make sure to pop in some example photos and references for you guys to kind of take a look at, but I love the way that it looks. I also feel like this is a little bit more renter friendly because with the traditional knob, you'd have to drill right through the front of a cabinet. However, with one of these, you just kind of slip it on there and then drill through the backside only partial way through. So when you do remove it, it's going to look like nothing was done to the front side of the cabinet, but really you may have damaged the backside a little bit, but hopefully your landlord won't notice. Now, one of the items I wanted to share with you guys is actually out in the living room still. It is a blanket ladder that I found on Amazon. My friend James also got one of these when his designers did his living room. And I really just liked the way that it looked in there. So I too wanted to get one for my living room as well. There really isn't much to it other than you could store towels on it in your bathroom or you can store blankets on it in your living room, whatever you really want to do with it. I thought I would share it though because it's really cute and I like it. My second to last item is a set of towels. And there really isn't much I can say about these other than they are amazing. I've actually purchased these already. This is my second set that I'm purchasing. I feel like whenever you go to Target or a place like that to purchase towels, the towels are always just very mediocre. They're just like, you know, they're Target towels. There's nothing really incredible about them. And I always love hotel towels and the way that they feel. And I was able to find some affordable hotel style towels on Amazon. So I thought I would share them with you guys. I purchased a new pack specifically for this video, but I also did want to swap mine out because mine are quite old. Um, so I figured I'd buy a new pack and I just really like these. They're great. I'm going to link them for you guys. And I also noticed that mine got better as I washed them. So as they're washed, they kind of get even fluffier, which I do love. And then my last item here is actually a little decorative element, which you can add into a vase. And that is some miniature pompous grass. So this right here is another item that I purchased actually for that room makeover in October, but I just threw it in this vase here to share it with you guys. But I just absolutely love how white these pompous grasses are. I feel like traditionally they're a little bit more tan toned, which works great for like boho style rooms. However, the vibe I'm going for in this space is a little bit different. So pompous grass wasn't really in the books for me. So I opted for this one, which is almost like a bleached pompous grass. And I love it. It's also miniature. I'm going to be putting it in a different vessel, of course, for the actual makeover. You can actually cut them down as you want to. They're nice and fluffy. And yeah. And wow, guys, I feel like I've been here for five minutes. I feel like I sped through this entire video. I hope that you enjoyed these finds though. Um, and if you did, definitely click the link at the top of the description box below to head over to my Amazon storefront where you can see all of these items, plus a ton of other curated items throughout my collections. If you're looking for anything, I might have you covered over there. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel because I post brand new videos about home decor and DIY every single week here on Lone Fox on Thursdays and Sundays, not to mention, Sunday's video. I already filmed it. I already edited it. And guys, it is one you are not going to want to miss. So make sure to click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you are notified every time I upload a brand new video. And last but not least, don't forget to also check out my Instagram account. It is Lone Fox Home. I'll put it on the screen right over there for you guys. And I'll catch you guys all in my next one. Happy shopping, everybody. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you next time. Bye guys.